Welcome to the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen, where we share gourmet recipes at a low-budget wonder. Now check this out. Here's our chicken. Right out of the oven. First thing we want to do is remove the wings. If you get a good grip on them, and you pull them backwards, they should pop right out of their socket like this. We'll just do the same for the other side here. Just like that. Now for the front, we're going to focus on the chicken breast. You want to make a nice incision right down the center of the sternum. Now one side you'll have the meat freed and the other side will have the sternum in it. This side I'm grabbing now, the meat's already freed up from it, so I'll start covering right down the side of it, applying pressure to the cartilage and bone. So you can see there, peeling it back, we're getting all the way down in there and getting as much meat out as possible. Make a little cut here over by the leg. It's mostly skin, so you don't got to worry about that one. And then just peel it back and keep etching at the meat, trying to get every bit of it that you can. And there we have one good healthy chicken breast portion. I'm going to steal a piece for myself here. That's good. Now down the center, we're going to cut right along the side of that sternum, only about an eighth inch, okay? Because that piece doesn't come out. Another slice here by the leg, and we'll start peeling back the chicken breast on this side. It's just a little finesse is all it needs. Just peel it back, work it with the blade, Peel it back and work it with the blade. Flip it around here so you can get a better look at it. Just work that knife right along the cartilage and try to keep as much meat on that portion as possible. about got it. Not much editing on this video, I'm trying to do everything in real time. And there's our second piece. Real nice, good, healthy portion. Now let's do the legs here, after I take another bite. <laughs> Gosh, this is good. Cantonese chicken, in case you guys want to look up that recipe. Here's the insides. Now the back side here, we're going to just pop it right here. I call this the quarter right there. You just work the meat just the same as anything. As you lift it, you can tell where it needs to be cut. And then there's the bone right where the socket is, and you can just slice it right through. The bone pops right out as you twist it, and you slice off the rest of the meat. It's no big deal. And there's that quarter I was talking about. Mm, that's good stuff. Again, here on the other side, I just made a small incision just to get it started. There's that goiter. Pop it out of socket. Just lift, remove, and slice off the rest of the attached meat. That's it. Pretty simple. Just comes apart when the thing's been cooked. That's when you've got a raw chicken that it, uh, it doesn't come apart too easy. But uh, in a nutshell, that's pretty much it. Just run your fingers over the rest of the carcass here. You can pull off little bits and pieces of meat so you don't throw anything out or waste it. You can usually get a pretty, pretty healthy stack here. About enough to make a sandwich anyway. <laughs> Here's our wishbone. That's fun for the kids, right? I always pull this out for my little ones. They love it. And 
and that's about it guys as you can see it gets pretty messy no doubt about that I guess we can take it a step further if you'd like take one of these uh, chicken legs and uh, show you how to separate that from the thigh so you can see you can just pull it apart right there for a nice little slice until you hit the socket but if you push with your blade that direction you can separate it and then pop right through it just like that and then uh, this bone here often comes out restaurants usually serve this thigh meat with the bone gone all sliced up and just the leg so you just grab twist pull you don't got to really worry about making that that much of a mess because it's all cut up in individual pieces anyway but just so we can ease your mind let's just show you what we did with this breast portion because it got pretty messy there carving up that bird and I don't want to leave you thinking I don't know what I'm doing here just take your portion like this slice it up turn it into this okay this is what I'm talking about thank you for watching and be sure to stop by poor man's gourmet for more recipes and exact ingredients